All right, welcome to the channel. This is the first crit race of the year. I got to start on the front line, which means only one thing, Aaron. <laughs> I am going to totally botch my clip in. Watch me go from second position all the way back to 30, 40th something. Uh, but this is the Cat 123 of the Todd Stadium crit in Virginia. And I'm riding for the I Ride for David team. You'll see it's the white jerseys with the blue sleeves. Uh, and we'll just kind of walk you through this first lap and talk about what our team goals were for this one. Seems like you're picking up from last year with your clippings already. <laughs> <laughs> it's a work in progress. Uh, but this was a, a fast course. You see we start out with that left hairpin. We're in a cross headwind and then this whole back stretch is going to be still a little bit you know more cross than anything but a little bit headwind. Uh, it's better to be sheltered on this left side of the road as they're leaving space. Uh, but my role in this race was to cover moves early, so uh, clearly I am not doing what is required of me at this point. So I gotta work my way up. The first couple laps I'm gonna be riding trying to find those ways to move up. And you can see those three guys, uh, starting with the guy in the dark blue, then the THR guy, and then this guy right up in the teal and blue bike. Um, we're pretty easily able to work up on the inside there. Early on in the race, the inside is left pretty wide open which is the sheltered side. People start catching on later. Yeah, and speaking of wide open, this race was full gas out of every corner. So working up was hard. So yeah, like you said, finding those ways to move up easier was the way to go. So still a lot of people haven't been uh, utilizing this left side of the course. So you're in a good spot here on the inside. Mm -hmm. This guy was kind of all over the Then it just kind of bunches on you. Yeah. So I got a teammate in front of me. That's the I ride for David Kitts. And the team to watch, I am keying on that uh, team with the blue helmets, that guy to the left, that team with the uh, whitish, pinkish jerseys, cutaway. They're just really cool dudes, really strong dudes. And uh, they had come in first and third in the road race the day before. So uh, plan was to try to cover any move that they're going to be in because they stuck one in the road race for a long ways and we don't want to give up anything like that early so they have they have four guys in the race four really strong guys and i think at this point um you have four guys yourself this is wyatt we're coming by in the red and black there then jacob right here and then vincent in the um easy and you see a big <laughs> crash there uh finally got a chance to move up as it bunches up try to move up when it bunches but watch out for the accordion effect and a potential crash afterwards. Yeah, Wyatt just finished the 3-4 uh, race, so he's gonna be trying to sit in, get ready for a potential sprint. Vince is our sprinter, and then Jacob is uh, gonna be covering any attacks, and he's also a sprinter. And Wyatt came in second in the 3-4 race, I think winning the field sprint, um, the breakaway, off the front, taking the win. So yeah, this was uh, right after that crash, you know, everybody starts stretching it out. We're trying to close a little gap, and you can see everything lines out. Somebody coming out of nowhere, <laughs> joining the race late. Which becomes a common theme throughout this, uh, this yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a bit of a cyclocross course unintentionally. So we're lined out, and the race was just hammering at this point. Uh, Mike Netta had to pull up. He, he was riding with us, but he had to pull out just... Uh, leg injury didn't want to make it any worse so i think he made the rock or the right call uh but here you can see it getting stretched out i'm gonna stay behind this kelly benefits guy the dude is almost too tall for me to get this, a draft from. this looks like it's about to be a flashpoint in the race and then yeah you neutralize. can see you can see that crash uh it was pretty bad the guy was uh okay uh, but i think he had some injuries had to get taken off in an ambulance so hoping for a quick recovery Redemption time with the clip-in. Uh, started out a little bit further back, but was able to get in okay. Nothing great. But here's Vince, our sprinter. <clears throat> so again, uh, Dodge does a good job of getting right up to the front. But my role is to cover these moves, so I have got to get farther up. I, In terms of my role for the team in this race, I have not done anything. Now, uh, nobody's led a break up the road yet, so it hasn't been consequential. There's another cyclocross move. Uh, but yeah, I've got to get further up the road so that I can help save the legs of our sprinters. So here the inside is blocked off and you can see doing a little extra work around the outside, but that's where it's open. Yeah, somebody snuck up the road. You see Dodge checking with me. You're gonna cover that. This is one of the guys we did wanna cover. It's early, 
uh, and I was not fired up about doing this, but at the same time, <laughs> it's good to get the, uh, the legs moving early. So this is the guy that won the road race, Krugler, uh, the day before, and he can flat out hammer. I'm guessing he looked back and saw it was me and knew it wasn't going <laughs> to stick if it was just me, but I just want to get close enough to at least encourage the field to chase me, bring it back in. Our best bet, I think at this point in the season, we're going for a, a field sprint in this one. So we bring the, bring the field back to him, no problems. I am exhausted from that effort. Um, but you do a good job of not filtering too far back, right? So you work hard enough to stay kind of in these top 10 wheels. And then right here, we're gonna see a counter. Yep, the other guy we wanna counter on that cutaway, that's Andrew, he came in third in the road race the other day. And I did not wanna follow him, <laughs> but nobody else saw him. And again, that's the other guy we wanted to follow. So I'm like, all right, so, uh, let's give it a shot. You're, you're hoping a teammate's there to do it, but I think deep down you know, like that was the wheel you were on, that's the one you gotta follow. You made it harder for yourself, you're not following right away. Um, but again, you keep him close enough, keep the field motivated to work to get him back, and then there's some and other that guys. that dude was so strong. I actually was a little concerned here because what I did was bridged him to a potential break, and I could feel myself fading, heart rate was, was ping. I don't even know what my heart rate is. I don't wear a monitor, but whatever it was, it was too high. But luckily that starts looking threatening. It's still early on, a lot of motivated guys to chase. So I'm gonna try to filter back in. And I do filter a little bit far back here. I just have got to recover. Um, it would have been well worth it to try to filter in earlier because the farther back you are in this race specifically, the harder the effort is out of this hairpin. Uh, I looked and I had to do 970 watts out of that hairpin at one point. And for me, at 143 pounds, like some dudes were hammering, doing some huge watts out of that. I can't do much more than <laughs> 970. But uh, you can see I'm filtered back in and what's going on here is I'm behind the, I'm definitely behind the first third of the race. I'd say I'm second, like the second, the back half of the race. And the problem is if I'm back here, there's not a lot of guys that are motivated to move up. So it's gonna be me putting in an effort on my own to move up rather than finding a good wheel. So if you can, try to stay in that top third. That's always the better bet. But bunching up again here means the race has slowed up for a sec. A lot of times an attack will come out of this. Um, this is cutaway sprinter to my right. Uh, a good wheel to be behind, but I want to be up further because I'm guessing he's probably not going to be one of the guys trying to get in a break. He's going to be saving for a sprint. But we got Dodge up front and uh, just trying to watch for a potential move at this point. This is a tailwind section into the finish. You can see it's a pretty straight shot out of the left turn. Pretty much whoever's first out of that left turn on the last lap is probably gonna pit that sprint. But uh, I like this course around the, that hairpin and pretty much around the whole course you can see those brakes going. So you can see one of the college A guys slipping up the road. That velocious sport guy, again, that dude had energy for days. And uh, yeah, there's a, again, there's a lot of motivated guys. You see three cutaway guys up there um, following that. So at this point, I'm just trying to be as efficient as possible and work my way up a little bit higher. Yeah, you mentioned a college guy. So this race actually combines the P123 field with the college field, but separates the results. You see a, an interesting dynamic where depending on the uh, break that's formed, different people will feel obligated to chase if there's two college guys up the road then the p123 racers don't chase it back and there you see a sweet attack by dodge he snuck around the right side of the road it's in the wind but he was kind of sheltered by this blue jersey and nobody on cutaway saw him there is a few guys up the road and dodge is bridging here so now my job is to follow these cutaways guys i do not have to do any work to get up there but if somebody else goes up with them, I want to follow them and give our team a numbers ad advantage in the break. But you can see everybody hits it hard. Uh, Dodge is one of the guys that people are watching. He's definitely a marked man, and the race is getting strung out. Anytime it's single file, whoa, pushed out again there. Anytime it's single file, it means we're hammering. And Vince up there, second wheel, is just following that Kelly Benefits guy. He doesn't have to do any work. He's just going to get a potential free ride up to the break if that guy wants to work for it. So you'll see another big name here in the yellow kit. Um, now he's like three or four wheels up. Brooke on District Taco. He's a classic breakaway guy. He's a little far back, but probably kicking himself for not being up there uh, with Krugler and Jacob. 
in that break. Yeah, uh, talking to Jacob Dodge afterwards, he said uh, he got up there and then nobody wanted to work. So it hurt. that was a half lap lap effort to get up there and then they just weren't motivated afterwards. So you can see I'm basically getting a free ride. Again, I should be a little bit further up. I'm not gonna be able to do anything if one of those cutaway guys attacks or tries to bridge from back here. So I should be further up, but now that it's strung out, uh, I'm just trying to be efficient and find a spot to move up. Here's two good wheels. If I can get past this guy in the blue jersey, two good wheels to follow. But I, it is, it's a course that's accelerating so hard out of the corners. Uh, it is kind of frustrating. You see if you take one bad line, you lose. And attention. we see a gap actually open up here. I'm not sure who opened it up, but now there's a break of three and then there's like eight guys up there and then the group you're in. Yeah, so that's where potentially we would have wanted to have uh, whoever's closest to that maybe be able to follow that and get a free ride up to the break but in any sense there's some strong guys in the, our group in this third or now second group on the road so we're going to bridge back to it but you can see this is where the race started stringing out there's gaps forming everywhere and people are hurting and unfortunately i am behind the zone of riders that i know well enough to know they're going to pull me back so again uh I would ping myself for not being far enough up at this point in the race. So coming in through the lap, we got 10 laps to go and uh, everybody's kind of catching back on. Uh, probably going to be a deep breath section of the race uh, before somebody else gives it a shot again. But we got a cutaway guy up front. I really liked, again, I know I've said it, but this course was nice for being able to see at different points in the race where the brakes were and, and how far up the road. It's good visuals on this one. So bunched up, but now the field's doing a good job of protecting that uh, left side, kind of guttering every rider behind. But yeah, it is slowing down a bit, it looks like here. That definitely started to happen. That left side was wide open first mm -hmm. couple laps, and you could see people adjusting as it went. There you see a Brooke attack from Brooke, and then a cutaway guy instantly following him, knowing he's a dangerous wheel on there. Uh, I'm far enough back, I'm just gonna let somebody else do the work. Uh, you know, not that I could get up there if I wanted to anyways, but uh, everybody's together. That one didn't really catch anybody by surprise, so it's probably just gonna ramp up the pace a little bit. Generally in these races, breaks go when the field is okay with them going or when a team is um, controlling the peloton. So when you see a couple guys go and then a single file line like that, generally that means that break Ooh. isn't gonna stick. It's just gonna be really hard for the next two minutes. <laughs> Which yep. is kind of looking like what it is. It was, yeah. He's on another rider, just brush that grass. Here's me working up the right side in the wind. It's just where the opening was, and I you know, didn't make it too far, but uh, scooting up a little bit and whoop, getting forced out a little bit. But uh, finally. So there, I'd say making that effort to be in the wind might be worth a little extra to just get around this little clump of five or six guys, and you might be in a. Yeah, and a this is what spot. happens, man. You get in the back half of the race. And it's a little bit more of that washing machine. It yeah. wasn't it wasn't an especially aggressive field, but uh, you're just dealing with a little bit more, and there's every once in a while there's chances of something happening. You hear the preem lap. The preems were just for the college guys, so no real, real sense to get up to the front unless we're you know trying to make a move. Another move going up the road. That was one college guy and one cutaway guy. So I am out of position. Uh, I don't want Dodge to have to potentially chase that one. That was on me. I needed to be further up, and that's going to kind of be one of the themes. Here we see a potential dangerous break, and I'm in position. I wait a little too long, but I'm going to close. You'll see as soon as I get up here, <laughs> nobody's it's working. It's sort of interesting. I guess just too large of a break. It looks really dangerous, and then it clumps, yeah, and then we have two or one college guy. Then this is a P123 guy that you hop on his wheel. Yeah. Good move there. I didn't want to close that on my own, um, and I was just hoping somebody would follow. He followed. I I don't know that I felt confident that this was going to make it to the line, mainly because I was in it, and I know I'm not going to make it to the line on a break. But I'll get a free ride. The guy says we got a gap, maybe a little bit of one, uh, but they're not too worried. The real question is, are those socks? UCI legal. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of air advantage there. Uh, but I'm going to let him work, and I'll take a pull, but I'm probably uh, trying to sell it as I'm working hard, harder than I am. Um, if I can get a couple of the other teams to chase, that's great. If not, that's all right. Um, but just a good line through that corner puts me on the front, 
And uh, you can see I'm already sneaking my way to the right hand corner, which means I'm done doing some work. I'm gonna let somebody move up and I'm gonna try to sit right in. Uh, I should have fought pretty hard to hop in in the first three or four wheels, but man, these efforts were really gassing me. So we see Cutaway here, we see District Taco here. Um, that's another college guy, but then two cutaways, that and that uh, guy in the teal kit, that's a dangerous makeup if that forms a break there. Yeah, and you'll that's see here comes group. Dodge up the right side. Yeah, he could really tell Really smart that, to close that. Mm -hmm, he could tell that I was coming off that. Yeah, that's got the right composition mm -hmm. of one that can stick. You're spot on. So Dodge closes it, and now, because Dodge did that work, I just want to stay on the cutaway wheel, which I've already lost. Um, but in any sense, I want to be ready to follow a move. Looks like this one's not getting too far away. So but a couple college guys in that break, and I think it was the college guys that chased it back, too. So had it not been for those college guys in there, I don't know what would have happened. Well, Kru yeah, and Krugler just attacked again. You see that velo velocious guy covering. Man, he is covered. He's in this race on his own, and he has covered so much. I was so impressed with his ride. That was really impressive. That is Aaron, I believe. So if you see the red pants and the teal jersey up there, solo rider for super strong team. Very dynamic in the race. Yep, so here we can see everybody sitting up. A lot of effort put forth in the last few uh, minutes or so. Cutaways working everybody towards the front. Uh, I am thinking that another attack is coming soon. Uh, and you can see, man, that guy put in a few attacks, that Maryland guy. He's going up the road, and this is where, Aaron, you talked about those dynamics between the college and the one, two, three. Uh, it's the same race, but it's kind of a separate race, and there goes a second college guy. You can see, I think about following, and it's like, mm, it's not gonna show up on the <laughs> stats. <laughs> I'm gonna try to save my legs there. But a good attack by them. It was just kind of strange to know, you know, think about some are worth following, some are not. I was hoping this guy, Liberty guy, was going to follow. He doesn't. I'm feeling kind of cooked at this point, so I start closing it. I'm more hoping I'm motivating the field behind me. That's a cutaway. Cutaway. It might be Andrew, cutaway rider up there, which he can't let go. Yeah. Um, they're just too strong and have too much of a presence in the peloton. I, I, and the other, yeah, I know I'm not closing this myself. Uh, I'm just hoping I'm getting the peloton following me because they see a cutaway guy up the road. And uh, I ride for David Guy heading up to it. And now, smart by the Liberty Guy to let me do some work. And here you can see him. Um, nice to see the Maryland in, guy in the peloton still. He's probably the strongest college guy there. So, you know, if he's not in the break and other college guys are, he's going to chase it back. So that's a relief for, for you guys as the chasers here. And this is a nice spot for me to be in. I've got, like you said, two to three strong wheels in front of me. Um, that are motivated to chase anything that gets dangerous. I can, you know, got kind of a clear view of everything around me. I like to take in that corner a little wide from the start. I could start my pedal stroke, you know, half pedal earlier, uh, but these dudes could lay down some power and I was just struggling to follow. Nice to have that Maryland guy split that gap, but here comes another hard attack and you can see my legs are getting sapped, man. There's some strong dudes. Uh, it was a lot of fun, but, uh, Definitely tough to follow some of these, and this that Velocia so Sport from guy, the front. Again. That's an attack, and he's <laughs> just going back and forth trying to trying to drop people, and it looks like he's done the done the job to you right there. Yep, yep. <laughs> I'm hurting at this point. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to cycle through again. So it's just a matter of if I can get that recovery in 10 or 15 seconds, I can sit back in and just hope I find the legs again in the last couple a uh, couple laps or miles but here again is a good place to sit in i'm back with the teammates there's our sprinter vince and dodge our other sprinter right in front and unfortunately this is where my <laughs> gopro died uh but just to catch you guys up on how it ended up dodge ended up taking the win he did a lead out from half a lap unbelievable so strong vince finished third behind him and i snuck in at ninth in the top 10 so awesome first race really dynamic i had a blast at this race and i think the addition to that uh hairpin left made it really dynamic yeah good first race great team result all across the board yeah it so looked like a fun one it was a fun one uh let us know what you think feel free to uh, trash on my uh terrible ability to close moves but uh I'm, i'll be posting a video next week from langley and thanks so much for watching comment like and subscribe